Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another WWE broadcast. I'm your host Bruin Steel. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to you guys for joining me. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be my solo video for today. Um, Canadian Yorker couldn't make it. Um, you, we usually do it Sunday nights, but um, he has some errands to run Sunday nights, so he won't be joining me today. Um, plus, I apologize for being late. It's Monday, and Monday Night Raw is starting tonight, so... But, um, this video is going to be me recapping last Friday Night Smackdown, um, September 22nd, 2023, from Glendale, Arizona. Um, it was pretty short, um, show, so I'm excited to recap this for you guys. Like I said, shout out to my friend Canadian Yorker. Um, who usually um, joins me on this broadcast, but he can't make it. But um, anyways, um, going, um, getting into this video, um, I'm recapping the SmackDown from last week. Um, like I said, I'm a little late, so I apologize. But anyways, um, there's a lot that has happened. Um, it didn't seem like a, um, a lot happened. A lot has happened um, in this show, but. Um, I just want to um, recap. So, starting off, um, SmackDown kicks off the show with the 16-time world champion John Cena um, off of a vacation fresh off of the Grayson Waller effect last week. And um, he had his eyes set on the bloodline and he wants to do it and he got himself a phenomenal partner to handle the bloodline you go you know all know what's gonna happen AJ Styles comes in and he agrees to um he agrees to team up with um John Cena but um Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokola seems like they're on the same page but um they came out and said that they're not fighting tonight which kind of you know has some issues but um later on um Adam Pierce had to explain to both AJ and John Cena that the there were complications between the bloodline and if they want to fight, the man they have to talk to is Paul Heyman. And that's basically it. Um, honestly, I call this, I think that, you know, Cena's, Cena, I did call Cena and AJ versus um, the bloodline, but we have to see. Um, but anyways, the next match, the first match of the night, um, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, LWO versus the Street Profits, and they obviously wanted a match last week as well, where the Street Profits won. But um, yeah, this match went back and forth, um, and then this just it just went back and forth, and at the end, it just got. Um, Usually, I thought the Street Profits would, because they turn heel, they will win matches. But thankfully, um, to my surprise, um, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar comes out with the win. Um, it's that's just that. Um, and then um, Bobby Lashley obviously got involved in this match, um, trying to describe, tried to distract the. Uh, um, um, referee, but um, Rey Mysterio took advantage with a quick war up for the one two three. LWO defeats the Street Profits by pitfall one two three. So um, I think it was a eh, okay of a match, but not great. But it's great to see the Street Profits um, finally getting their first loss, and there were some um, there were some altercations between Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits afterwards, saying that oh uh, it 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 just, it just wasn't really um worked out or whatever and by the way um these two did have a con uh confrontation in the back um Bobby Lashley and Street Profits went at it um had a little bit of an argument in the back room um but anyway that's basically that's basically um the match so LWO defeats Street Profits by a quick roll up by pitfall um, the next match is the WWE Women's Championship match. Um, this was a match that me and Canadian Yorker was talking. Um, Asuka versus Io Sky. Io Sky defending her Women's Championship against Asuka. Um, plus Charlotte Flair was on commentary. Um, um, this went back and forth. Um, obviously Damage Control was getting involved. Um, the Eventually what happened was... Um, Oscar was trying to go for this uh, pin, but um, 
with the uh, referee distracted, um, us, uh, Eo Sky, I mean, sorry, Bailey, uh, put the, um, was, was able to sneak and put, um, tried to put Eo Sky's foot on the rope. Charlotte Flair saw it, uh, and then attacked Bailey, but, um, it wasn't enough. Um, I think Charlotte Flair wanted, um, Oscar to win, but, um, Eo Sky dropping Oscar with a knee to the back of the head and then taking, a uh, moonsault over, hitting, um, Oscar with the moonsault, getting the pin. Eo Sky retains the women's championship by pitfall, defeating Oscar. Um, this was a great match. Um, once again, damage control getting involved. But I kind of knew maybe I kind of knew Eo Sky was gonna win because, um, you know, I don't, I just didn't see Eo Sky dropping the title this early. But anyways, yes, Eo Sky successfully defends her title against Oscar, retaining the women's championship. So what a that was that that was good, um, but um, yeah, moving on, moving on, um, back backstage um segment um Paul Heyman goes to the Wiseman in the Bloodline for a contract for a tag match. Um, Paul Heyman said that as long as not tonight, he's cool, and basically that's it. Um, yeah, but um, next match is the Brawling Brutes, Butch. And Rich Holiday versus Grayson Waller and Austin Siri, a tag team that I've been enjoying so far. Grayson Waller and Austin Siri, they, they're just, they're moving forward with this tag team. I honestly am a, a big fan of this tag team. Um, It just, I really think they can do something with it and people are going to be booing me and stuff like that because I know Austin Siri is a hated guy on SmackDown, but um, I love Grace the Grayson Waller and Austin Siri duel. Um, they got a deadly combo finisher. Um, so yeah, this next match, Brawling Brutes versus Grayson Waller and Austin Siri. Um, it, it it just went walk. It just went back and forth. Um, you know, look, Butch and Rich Holiday are two big guys. Um, um, it just. Butch was able to, um, and then at the end, it went, it, it went back and forth, um, um, power, huge, huge power slam by Rich on Austin, um, and then Rich tries to lock Austin in the Boston Crab, but Butch tries to, um, distract Grayson, and hoping Austin was gonna, uh, uh, tap out, but, um, Grayson backs Butch into a ring pose, and then this, Combo. This is the combo between Grayson Waller and Austin Sierra was talking about. Grayson Waller hits Ridge with the rolling stunner, a roll up and then a stunner. Oh my God! Which opens the door for a town down um by Austin Sierra. Deadly combo. Um, Austin Sierra and Grayson Waller defeats the Brawling Brutes by pitfall. Oh my God! I'm telling you, Austin Sierra and Grayson Waller have something going right now. And I know there's like Austin Sierra and Grayson Waller haters. Shout out to you, Joey, my friend Joey, who hates Austin Siri. Um, but I'm telling you, they they, they they have something going on here, um, Austin Siri and Grayson Waller. Um, but anyways, yep, we're at the main event. Like I said, the SmackDown was pretty short, so... Um, but yeah, John Cena... Um, oh, by the way, um, John Cena makes his way to the ring. While he's away, AJ Styles. Um, AJ Styles gets virtually attacked by the bloodline in the back room. Um, Solo Sokolo jumping off on top of the production equipment and knocking out AJ Code. Um, John Cena and Adam Pierce, um, obviously, um, you know, obviously concerned and following AJ Cell while he, uh, an ambulance takes am uh, AJ to the hospital along with the OC. Um, and basically, end of the, sh end of the, um, End of the segment, uh, Jimmy Uso, Paul Heyman, and Solo Sokola um, started to trash talk and insult John Cena, saying that you might as well just join your buddy in an ambulance. But um, John Cena, thinking the tough motherfucker that we've known him for so many years, come out, tries to clean the house, but um, the number games caught him. Um, Solo Sokola nailed John Cena with um, two Simone Spike while the two brothers stomp him out, and then... Um, Jimmy Uso and Solo uh, signed the contract, lay on John Cena's chest, and Jimmy Uso 
taunting John Cena from the top rope. You can't see me smiling where the whole Damian Boeing hits the Uso splash on John Cena, ending the segment. And the question is, um, who's going to take AJ's um, spot? This is going to be huge. Um, there's rumors that there were, there's rumors that um, Randy Orton was gonna return, but eh, I'm not sure. People say that The Rock might come in um, LA night, so we have to see on this week's SmackDown what the situation is. But um, that is the end of the um, show, guys. Um, but overall, um, I give this show. Uh, I wish there was more. It surprisingly, it wasn't that a lot. But um, I think I'll give this show a B minus. But um, yeah, I'm giving the show B minus, and that will do it for my recap, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I apologize for the late video, and I hopefully I can get this uploaded and running for you guys. But um, anyways, um, huge shout out to you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, that is my recap for September 22nd from Glenville, Arizona. And shout out to Canadian Yorker. You guys will be seeing Canadian Yorker this Tuesday when we do our Raw recap. Um, like I said, I apologize. He can't make it. He had errands yesterday. Um, we usually do it Sunday night. I mean, like, since because I had the uh, my job schedule and stuff, we usually do it, like, a day after, like, a Saturday. But, um, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and take care, guys.